Wilbur and Orville Wright, two American brothers from Dayton, Ohio, started experimenting with aircraft in 1899. The main areas of their concern were lift, thrust, and control. They also built a wind tunnel to test wing shapes. After 1900, they continued their experiments in the hills near the small town of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. They built their Flyer One in 1903, which they later nicknamed after that town. The aircraft's first flight on the 17th of December 1903 was a pioneering event in the history of aviation. It was the first successful controlled flight with a powered, heavier-than-air aircraft. It was piloted by Orville Wright, who covered a distance of 39 meters during his 12-second flight. Besides his brother, there were five witnesses, members of a life-saving crew, a businessman, and a local boy. The Wright Flyer One was a biplane with a wooden framework. It was 6.4 meters long, its wingspan was 12 meters, and it had a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 340 kilograms. Its propellers were powered by a four-cylinder water-cooled engine. The airplane was equipped with separate elevators and rudders for the best control possible. The pilot controlled it with a lever and the movement of his own body. Over the following two years, the Wright brothers further developed their aircraft, with the Flyer II in 1904 and the Flyer III in 1905. In 1905, they were able to maneuver their airplane into a loop. Their longest flight covered 39 kilometers in 39 minutes.